seeing the market drop and everything that's happening right now, I wanna address some concerns that I'm hearing and then share some thoughts on what to expect when planning your retirement and then how to prepare moving forward by doing just three things. Over the past few months, we've seen the market seem to continually go down and every financial news article and television station is talking about the correction and then the bear market and then people calling for a, a future recession. So if you're retired or nearing retirement, it might feel a little bit scary, which is a normal way to feel when you see these things on the news, especially if you are either newly retired or you're thinking about it in the next few years. Someone commented on one of my recent videos about how no one can retire anymore after 2022. Well, we're still helping people retire each month at Streamline and they're feeling confident and they're feeling good about it. So I wouldn't agree with him, but I definitely see where he's coming from. People are watching their accounts drop and these sell-offs happen that seem to come out of nowhere with fears of bigger rate increases from the Federal Reserve due to higher than expected inflation and fears of a recession or the economy slowing down. It seems like there's so much out of our control and that's the reason it can feel so painful because it seems like we can't do anything about what's happening, yet the things that are happening are directly impacting our financial life and our plans. But I'll give you some ways where you can take back that control in this video. And I'll share what clients are doing so that they don't have to worry about the news or the big swings that are happening in the market and then how you can do that too really the goal of this video is to help give you a plan so that you can worry less we know that wise quote or that question that asks can worrying actually add a single hour to your life well no if anything it's taking hours away from your life and what you really should be doing you know worrying might be causing you to to not be fully present with your family or loved ones or not enjoy the things that uh, you should be doing to the to the fullest enjoying them to the fullest and at streamline we're all about helping people live a truly fulfilled life. Streamline's been around through the dot-com bust, the financial crisis in, in 08, 09, and the pandemic, and then all the major mini scares in between those. And we've seen a lot of worrying times. And if you're 50 and older, then you've been seeing these things too. You're used to seeing these. But because we're closer to retirement now, and using your investments for income, it's gonna feel, or it may feel, a little bit different now. I've drawn this picture before, and you might have seen it, but worry might go up as you get closer to that retirement date, because it's the date where you might have to start using the investments, and having them go down right beforehand is, is, uh, is pretty scary. But I'll go over some ways where you can lower this worry line and keep it there. The other thing that's different for you now is that in the past, you might have been able to welcome some of the dips that we saw as an opportunity really because you were continually adding to your accounts and your portfolios and buying the dip. It's different now that you're close to retirement or already retired because there's less time or you might not be adding anymore. So the big warning here for you is because the emotion or the worry might be stronger at this time than any other time of, of your investing life, you may wanna make a change to your portfolio. And if you're thinking this way, take a step back and then try to evaluate is this mainly emotions or is it sound financial advice? And we can look at the difference there. And before you decide anything, I would suggest talking to someone and not your friend or your cousin who's got the, the stock tips, but an expert who can show you a projection of your path and what to expect with your current investments. So sound financial advice is actually looking at what you're doing now and what the projection is, is uh, based on and really looking at what if scenarios. That's the first thing to do. Look at your current path and then model out these various what if scenarios. You know, things like if inflation is higher than expected for a while, or if there's an extended bear market drop or many of the other what ifs that are going through your mind, why not get it in a concrete plan? The second thing to do is make sure you're diversified and you've got investments that can perform in whatever economic season we may be headed into, whether it is higher than inflation or maybe it's lower than inflation in the future or high growth or, or low economic growth in the future. I've talked about this in the past. You may have seen videos like this, and I'm gonna talk more about the four economic seasons in upcoming videos. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss those ones. And then third, design an income plan first that clearly tells you how you should be invested and how much you should have in the conservative bucket or the growth bucket to keep it simple. But first starting with that income plan is key because that can really make it clear on what sort of investments you should have. Our clients have peace of mind knowing that they've got five to seven years worth of withdrawals in, in their investments in that conservative bucket that's not getting as impacted by the market swings. If you can do those three things, your confidence and your peace of mind around retirement and your future and your money should increase. It has for our clients. What we definitely don't want to have happen is what's illustrated in this sketch by Carl Richards. It's really 
what a lot of people actually do do. I've seen this in the past, and it's something we want to be aware of and just avoid doing the opposite of what we should be. If you're worried, maybe a plan review is needed. And if you're already doing those three things that I mentioned, well, if you're a streamlined client, just give me a call and we'll talk about it and make sure you get back to that peace of mind. If you're not a client, just be sure to model out various scenarios, make sure you have the right asset classes for the various economic seasons we might go through, and then segment your investments into conservative and growth to see how many years of income you might have. And I'll put another video up here on how to do that, how to segment your different investments to see what, what bucket they would fit in. So you can look at that on the screen after this video. Then finally, try to remember that quote, don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day's got enough worries or enough trouble on its own. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please like the video and share it with a friend. If you're subscribed, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.